this is Frankie Abrazino with The Scoop News. Okay, I received an email like I do all the time. I get 20, 30 emails a day. One was from Colleen. We were communicating. She was asking me, what is this band book week all about? She sent me a bunch of pictures, you know, where on at the local library it says band. Like one was Captain Underpants, and it explains why it's a band because of offensive language and violence. Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom, my daughter Isabella, read every every one of the series of her books. Um, those are banned. And this is at Fruitville. She told me it was at the Fruitville Library, and she wanted to know it was illegal. And she said she talked to the librarian there in the library and said that they sent out an email a month ago about it and that many of the parents in Sarasota County can just write um, a list of books they feel have content that is objectionable and more than likely they will be banned um such as judy bloom and she, you know this individual colleen went on to talk about how when she was three she used to read it she's 54 now she had to have no idea why um it would be banned which i don't understand either i wouldn't ban it and i'm not someone that believes in going and banning something that you don't like um to equate it if you if you look at msm they put out a lot of these local um and national news shows put out the same stuff all the time because they want you to they want to create the storyline they want you guys to follow certain storyline and they don't touch the other stuff so you're not aware of it um things they may not want you to be aware of a good example is this church killing where you had a um individual come in mask and kill an individual and i think nine people were hurt you barely hear anybody talking about it because it doesn't fit the narrative that they're pushing out there and you see the same with the books um, you don't hear a lot of conversation about it. Now, Sarasota tw um, Library has been tweeting out a lot about it lately, and I've been seeing it, and I've been sharing it. wasn't sure specifically, so I decided to look at it, and it is rather interesting that a parent can write and say, I don't like this book because it's offensive language in it. Um, they have another one, Drama. This is written by Rania Talgemeyer, and it says it was challenged it because the LGBT characters were deemed, it was deemed sexually explicit, and uh, offensive political viewpoint. They have uh, the offensive language, Eleanor in the Park. And they have this whole list where they go through these different books. And this is a group, it's called BanBooksWeek.org. And essentially what they hope to do is engage various communities to inspire participation and um, get out there, uh, maybe inspire education, um, you know, advocacy on the issue, and just uh, all all-around um, awareness to the Band Book Week. Again, I wasn't aware of it. I personally, look, I, do, I don't think any of this stuff should be banned. I'm the type of person that will give my kids a book or let them listen to a documentary, and they got to make their own decisions. I'm there to try to guide them along on what's appropriate. Um, I think it's your, your center. It's, the, the, I think what happens is when you go out there and have some anyone can now come up to these schools and say look I don't like this book because it has right-leaning views or political views that uh, um, you know are alarming I don't want my kid to learn on blah 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 and it'll be banned and you might be sitting there on I am jazz and saying well that's great I don't want my kid to know about transgenderism but then what happens if they come through and they want to ban a book that you, on an issue that you fully support and I think to all too many times we get caught up in this where we want to go out and we want to bam, bam, bam because it's something that doesn't fit the narrative you want your kids to follow or something you want to follow. But then you don't realize and think about it that the fact is that this table can be turned and an issue that's imperative to you can be banned. Um, and again, these kids are smart enough to know. My, my Judy Bloom, my daughter, read all of them. It didn't impact her negatively. She was smart enough to make a decision. And that's what, you know, that's the thing. Government doesn't think individuals are intelligent enough to make their own decision. They're not intelligent enough to dissect through the propaganda and come out with the narrative that they want to follow or push out in their life. Um, I disagree. You know, and, and some people might look at it and say, you know what? You may want to, I am jazz. You may want to take it out and say, uh, look, this is transgenderism, and, you know, you could actually, as a parent, you could sit there and use it as a reason not to um, view transgenderism as a good thing. You could also, as a parent, push it as why gen transgenderism is a good thing and to help your kid decide if they want it to come out. 
Um, where I don't agree with it is like I'm, I am jazz. They used it in California, and some it was, I think it was in third grade, just happened about a month ago. And the kid came out and said he was no longer he, he was now she. And then the teacher got I am jazz out and started dissecting I am jazz with the students there. It confused a lot of the students. One kid saying, I don't want to become a girl tomorrow. They did all this without the parents' approval. That is a totally different story. All right, this has been Frankie Averzino with The Scoop News.